What's this? I was just wondering if it's a common occurrence to find God Eaters from Gleipnir traveling with caravans. I suppose you're keeping an eye on some cargo back there, is that right? The area up ahead is under Gleipnir jurisdiction. I cannot allow you to proceed. Meaning that whatever you've got stowed up there is a special delivery for Gleipnir. Ugh! Hey, hey, are you okay? So tell me, what's your name? Gleipnir 6th Engineering Battalion, Special Transport Unit, Claire Victorious. You can just call me Hugo Pennywort. The owner told me about you. It seems you helped with clearing our route. Understand that while I do applaud the work you've done, I cannot approve of any frivolous actions you take in the field. Don't expect to garner any special favor for it. Great, a teacher's pet. <laughs> I'm only doing the job that I was assigned. If we're in combat together, I will be trusting you to perform. Huh? It... it was nice meeting you. <laughs> Maybe we're gonna get along after all. It's a pleasure to meet you too, Claire. Are you feeling all right, Claire? I'm fine. The ash density is with intolerance. Nothing to worry about. Even with the ash resistant bias factor, you should still be careful. I appreciate your concern. Claire specializes in logistical support and first aid. Okay, team. Use teamwork and take down this origami. Wow, this is unusual. This is our first time out together. I'm counting on you. We'll do our best. <sighs> that takes care of the mission. Excellent work. You were great out there together. You're better than I expected, Claire. Thanks. Be sure to rest when you get back to base. Don't worry about it. I'm just feeling a little motion sick, that's all. <laughs> oh, thanks. Sorry to be such a bother. I'm not big enough to fight yet, but see? I can scrounge up cool stuff like this.
It feels like you've waited forever, but once things start moving, it all goes pretty quick. I mean, just look at where we are now. You remember what I was saying earlier? After all that time locked up, we're finally outside. And now our first problem rears its ugly head. What do we do with ourselves now that we're here? Close, but not quite. I made up my mind a long time ago. From this point forward, we're living in a world driven by action. We'll have to buy back our freedom by fighting. Absolutely. After that, we'll build a port of our own. It'll be a place where people can help each other and work toward their dreams. But I'm gonna need a lot of help from you. Are you on board for this? <laughs> Thanks. Seriously, this means a lot. Well, let's go give the kids the good news. They have nothing to be afraid of anymore. It might be a lie now, but it'll be okay if we make it the truth someday. Remember, you're my accomplice in all this. Let's make sure we see it through, huh? Is this the place? Yes. Any visual? There! Claire, wait! <laughs> an age is on it, and an experienced one at that. Just stay back and provide support. <laughs> Is this some damn circus? Gotcha! Activate. What's with this weirdo?
Throw down your god arcs. Now. Crap! Hugo, do you read me? Why are you in combat? Hugo! What do you want? Let me speak with your commander. Ma'am, this is a video of their battle. An acceleration trigger. They've already got a practical model. Establishing a communications link with Hugo. Hilda, I'm putting our attacker on. She wants to talk. Go ahead. I am a Baron Age. Codename, Lulu. I was left stranded here by my vessel during a mission, and I am requesting transport back to Baron. You gave us a rather rough greeting, don't you think? I understand. I apologize for the incident. However, I intend you no harm. I'm not gonna take that one. You should know, I held myself back. It's the only method we're taught. First, I'll make contact with Baron to confirm your identity. It may take a little time to do that. I assume you can wait while I do? That's fine. We have a response from Baron. According to their message, they say they have no record of an age named Lulu on their files. So, who is she then? <sighs> Amy, what's the ash density in this area? Checking. Um, 0 0.008 ppm. That will give us about 10 minutes. Open the hatch. I'll talk with her directly. Understood. Opening the... hatch? Wait, what? Hey, what the hell are you doing? He is a member of my crew. Could you do me a favor and let him go for me? I... I already told you, you're taking me to Baron. There doesn't seem to be an age named Lulu. Huh? I've searched every record we have, and contacted Baron as well. But everywhere I check, I get the same result. No person named Lulu exists. That... No, that can't be right. I mean... I was just on a mission. I'm sorry, but you're... I see. So... What the heck's going on? I... I've been... cast aside.
If there are no objections from any of you, I'd like for her to join our crew. Are you sure it's safe to have her? I mean, I'm fine with it, but... She doesn't have any place to go home to now, does she? I say go for it. She's strong and effective in combat. For an age, there's nothing more important than that. Hey, hey! I want a chance to analyze that acceleration trigger. I agree with Madam Hilda. Though I guess that's nothing new. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Now all that remains is to see what her will is on this matter. Hmm... Her will, huh? Seems pretty messed up to drop that kind of choice on an age with her strict training. Right? Whoa! You're way too serious. I'm with our friend here. No matter what the situation you find yourself in, your future is your own choice. Oh, I see. That actually does make sense. That's what freedom really is, isn't it? Then I'm... free? My... will. I have nothing to offer. Like the others said, it's up to you to decide on your own path in life now. If you've come here, then you've already made a choice, haven't you? Hmm. Is it all right if I stay with you? <laughs> Heck yeah! I'm not gonna let a chance like this slide. That acceleration trigger you have? Let me give it a try. Huh? Well, it's... not finished. Then we will assist you in completing it. Let's say you contribute your skills and tech in exchange for a warm bed. Does that sound like an acceptable deal? Are you sure? <laughs> okay, then let's get the party going. We're gonna play cards all night. How's your poker game? Um, okay. I know the rules. The party is on! Uh, sorry, friend, but I'm going to bow out of this one. I just can't wait to take a peek at that acceleration trigger. Seriously, you're always such a wet blanket. Get with the program, will you? After you, friend. After you. Huh? Well, everyone else is obligated. Got it? <laughs> if we have to. <laughs> It'll be a nice change of pace. We did it! We finally did it, Zeke! Acceleration trigger analysis is complete! Man, that was quick. Did you stay up all night? It's the thing Lulu was using, right? What the hell is it, anyway? I'm so glad you asked. Simply put, an acceleration trigger initiates a process. Oracle potential energy is drawn forth from the Oracle cells within a God Arc user's body when certain stresses are applied to the cells. Then, transferred to a booster within their armlet, which then amplifies the effect of the energy, instantly boosting the user's capabilities by creating a God Arc wielder feedback loop, resulting in an Oracle Cell subjective stimulation system. Simply put, it'll unlock the energy in your Oracle Cells for an extra boost of power when you do certain things during combat. Wow, those folks in Baron are working on some remarkable stuff. So, these oracle cells we have in us are real scary, huh? Yeah, I'd say they qualify as real scary. 
If you overactivate them, they'll eat your body from the inside after all. Do you have to look so happy about it? Well, you don't have to worry as long as you don't pull anything funny. The one Lulu brought in was improperly calibrated, which is dangerous. But never fear. I'll make sure the ones on your god arcs are up to spec. Huh? But you just finished analyzing them. You gonna install them already? I mean, I know I said I wanted one, but... <laughs> the more weapons you have at your disposal, the longer you can survive. Right, friend? Well, maybe, I guess. I've made sure to install the safest, simplest version so you can try it out the next time you're in a fight. There's already a mission set up and everything. No glitches, right? better than I expected. Thank you both for your help. If anything catches your attention, let me know right away. Engineers need good feedback in order to improve. <sighs> Thanks for this. Working with you puts my mind at ease. I'd like to do it again. I've never felt like that before. Welcome back! That fight left me spellbound.
to encounter one in a place like this. I suppose we should count ourselves lucky that we spotted it before it spotted us. Is that an Ash Origami? Yes. They're a new type of Origami that appeared with the Ashlands. They're a whole new breed of monster. Just a scratch from one of them will kill you. They devour in a completely different way from regular Origami too. They rob God Eaters of their resonance ability, and explosively amplify their own oracle cells. They can also enter a burst state in the same way that you God Eaters can. Lethal and inescapable. That sums up Ash Origami. There's only one thing we can do now. Pray. Just hope to high heaven we don't ever have to engage one of them. <sighs> What happened? This response. It's an Ash Origami. Ranges, six miles. Huh? An Ash Origami? Are you kidding me? 
Comparing with the database. No matching data found. It's an unknown type of ash origami. Reverse our heading and retreat at full speed. We need to withdraw from this area immediately. We're too late. It's already on us. It's so fast. Ash origami on a collision course. What, what did you say? Impact with rear cargo containers. Some are destroyed. Is there something it wants in our cargo? It won't stay away from the containers. They can't withstand anymore. Ah! Was that Claire? Container is breached. Ash origami is inside. Just not our day. Let's move. Are you all right? <sighs> the container is... Don't be stupid. Think about yourself. Damn the cargo! Protecting that cargo is the duty entrusted to me. Uh, there is an ash origami in that container. Don't just waltz in there. Uh, what? Is that... a human? No, you don't! Seek! Okay! I'm going in too. All right. Got it. Are you okay? Hey, come on, wake up. Live, damn it. You have to live. Continue!